Good day everyone, this is John Morley from Creative3D. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use this new uh, add-on called GeoGen. It's an alpha right now. It's from Jenga FX. So come and join me. So this is what we're going to be creating. This uh, rock formation with the water. And these little sections. And I'm going to show you how I do that from scratch. So here we go. Let's go and do say new project. Start from the beginning. And this is what you come up with at the beginning. It's a nice formation, of course, but let's go ahead and get deeper into it. So, this little control here actually separates this whole screen. Gives you a nice side. Now, the newest uh, version 1.4 has this timeline. I'm not going to really go over the, anything like that, but I will show you how that other option was created. So, we start off with this basic uh, nodes here. We got these different uh, variations, and I'm going to start manipulating this to create what I just showed you. One thing I'm going to make sure we do is we have the warp noise, which is great. Now you can make a planet if you want, but I'm not doing that here. Just um, terrain. We got your base, and a few other things I'm going to be adding in here. And then how you do that is you right click, and there's these different sections here, which you can create. Um, I'm going to be bringing in a uh, blend height map. So let's go ahead and go to heights, height modifier, blend height map, and we'll bring this in. All right, so this one, we're going to take basically this connection here and bring this over. So what you can do is just pull it from the edge here and bring it in to the foreground. There we go. So there's that. Now what I'm going to do is, for now, I'm going to take this height map. I'm going to go ahead and start adding in some more things here. So I'm just going to move this over. You can right click. And these are the things that really add to the um, options here. I'm going to create a faulting here. I'm going to create a, let's see here, creators here. And one more thing to give it some variation. I'm going to add in the height modifier rocks. So here we go. So one thing you can do is you can take this and bring it to all three of these. Just to give it some variations. There we go. And one more thing I'll be doing is I'm going to be actually hide. Um, let's bring this down a little bit so you can see what we're doing here as we create. And this is basically taking your base and your warp. That's all it's doing. And we're going to change that around a little bit. So what we really want to do is this is going to take and add in a blend height map. So we're going to blend these things together. So this is kind of the way I work it. So we're going to right click again. We're going to select the blend height map. And we're going to bring this here. And I'm going to bring this output to the foreground. And I'm going to also bring this to the background. And one thing I want to do here is take this now and bring this to that. So some variations here. So another thing we need to do is I'm going to need to add in another uh, blend height map. So we can just right click, copy, we can just paste it. That's another way to do this to that. Okay, so we can actually let's bring these out a little bit more out of your way. We can bring this one here. Something like that. This way we can actually connect more options. So foreground. We're going to bring this to the background. And again, continue to bring it to the height map. What I basically did is these are rocks. Okay, so that's that. Now this map, it uh, inclusion. I want to make sure I take a few more things here. Let's bring these over a little bit more. Let's go and take this here and bring it to the background. And the colorize, um, I could just take this away for now. Let's just delete this. I'm going to bring in a separate colorizer. So let's go colorize. And we're going to bring this here. And I'm going to also add in a um, colorizer adjust. 
This way I can adjust colors as I go. So let's bring this here. And now that I got that, we can actually bring in this output to the color. So kind of a crazy look there. We'll go to the normal and to the albedo. There we go. All right, so that's that. Um, so a few more things that I can do here at the mass inclusion. I'm going to also take this here and add it to the roughness as well. Now this is not what I'm going to go for here. This color is really crazy. It doesn't give you many variations, but so let's go ahead and start creating and uh, modifying some of these main um, attributes here. So if you go to here, faulting you come up with uh, your detail here. So let's go ahead and click on that. And what I'm going to do on that is, um, first of all, I'm going to go back to my warp noise. I'm just going to go here first. And let's do some variations here as well. So I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit. And we're going to change some um, parameters here. So I'm going to keep all this at zero. Scale's good. I think pretty much everything here is good. I'm uh, trying to figure out kind of the sizing here. I don't see any change that I need to do here. So let's go to the base. The base is at zero, and I'm going to bring this up. Just give it some variations. I think I'll bring it up to about and somewhere you can even type it in if you want I'm just going to type 191 in that looks good and rotation pivot is something you can mess with if you want I personally just going to kind of adjust a few things here get where I want it to be something like that zero meters is fine I think the warp Altitude is that. Relative is fine. I bring this down just a smidgen. It's too high. So we'll bring it down even more. Because if you go too high, sometimes it causes a lot of crazy jagginess. So the offset, I, I will go with um, a different number here. I think I'll go negative. Something like that. Meters. Amplitude. Again, you could just just play with it to get your own look of course and now let's go to faulting so the faulting if you double click it it'll actually come in and kind of create these faults for you um, I'm going to go ahead and go basically to the main here and I'm going to adjust a few things here so faulting seed I'm going to bring this up just to give it some variation something like that Layer count, I'm going to add a, more than one. I'll probably add like two base value. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And these are settings that I've kind of just tweaked. So not going to be exactly like the one I showed you. It'll be a little different than that, of course. But all right, so positioning. I think here I'm going to rotate it around a little bit. Just give it some variations here. We'll go with something like that. Now the width, I'm going to bring this up a little bit more. I think it's too thin. Um, a little bit like around 150, something like that. And then here, the randomness, I'm going to bring this up a little bit to give it some variations. Position. I think I'll bring this up. Something like that, and I think that looks good. I think one thing I'd like to do is add a little bit of um, randomness here too, just to give it um, a different look. So it's not just one edge. Something like that would be good. And I think that's it. Blending is 100% alpha. Yeah, that just looks good. All right, so I'm good with that. 
Now if you want, I would go now to the next one. Let's go in Craters. This is really cool. I really like what this option does. And I'm going to definitely add in some bigger mounds or holes in the ground. So let's go ahead and go with it. So right now we've got 50 craters. I'm going to bring this down to like, let's say four. If we do a four. And seed, um, bring this up. Just give it some variations. Can't see much right now. Definitely need to bring this up a little bit more. Something like that. Your radius is going to be around. We'll bring this up a little bit. Something like that. And then this here, I'm going to bring up quite a bit. Something like that. So now if I double click it, see how it creates these things. Now, if you double click this, you can get both variations. So let's go back to craters. Um, I'm going to create a higher, I think I'll make this a little bit bigger, I'll go with 27, not too deep, something like that, 70 here I think, bring it up a little bit, nice hole there, and the depth is, again, I want to make this a little more depth, so we'll go with like, Something like that. The inner shape. Now one thing you notice is that it's going through creating a hole, which is fine. We'll adjust in a minute. Alright, so the radius I think in here. Alright, so we're gonna add a little bit of this radius distribution here. I think I'll go with like something like that. There we go. And I'm going to go with the maximum spine, offset. I think I'm going to go the opposite way. I think one thing I'm going to definitely do is, I um, can't really tell what I'm doing here, but I'm just going to do this for now. The warp, I think I'll go with Something like this, the offset. Okay, so I definitely want to go back down on that one. I think 27 meters is good. Let's keep going with it. Inner shape, I think I'll make that a little bit bigger. Something like that, inner shape. Terence, zero is good. Central peaking. I think I'll bring this up just a little bit. Central peak height, you know, very low actually. I think that's not going to look good. Bring this up. Very little, just give it a little variation. Okay, so outer shape, I think I'll bring this down a little bit. that chaos shape chaos I'm gonna bring this down to this a little too much something like that so these give you a lot of variations as you can see here um, do anything too crazy all right so let's keep going with it height chaos I think that's fine everything here is looking good let's see just bring this up you roll your mouse Trails, uh, I think a three was good. 30, 65, okay, nine. I think all these look good. These are all good, I think. And yeah, that looks good. Let's see height, height chaos. Bring this down, no, I think that's okay. All right, so that looks good. So now let's go to rocks. All right, let's adjust this. Okay, rocks is a, gives you some other added stuff here. So let's go in with the seed. We'll change it around just a little bit. Something like that. I think we'll bring these up a little bit. 
let's do something like this. And then the height, I'm going to bring this up quite a bit so they actually stand out. Something like that. Layer count, I think I'll go with like five. I think with amplitude, I'll bring this down a little bit. Now, I'm not really seeing it here, but see, this is double click it, see what you're doing here. Amplitude, mm, go with a little bit higher than this. But the kind of rocks, I'm going to make this complex. Gives a lot more detail to them. All right, orientation, I think. I think I'll leave that alone. I think that looks good. Variations, keep that. I'm going to actually add in a double click here to bring it in. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. All right, sizing. So let's go with, bring some of these down. We'll go with like 55 maximum. I think that's good. I think that looks good. Just different variations you can give. You can definitely adjust these to your heart's content. I think that looks good. Alright, so now that's done. So now if I double click it, it kind of gives you an idea what we're looking at. Alright, so some things we can do here is you can bring this up a little bit. And I think I'll bring this up a little bit just to see what this is trying to come out. Um, I'm going to go here. This is your adjustments that we're going to be looking at. So your height map. These are variations that we can use for these two together. It kind of like blends them in together basically. So I think we'll go with some variations here. So this is going to be fine. Let's add. I'm going to bring this up the foreground offset. I think I'll go with a like something like that. The background is fine. I'm going to add in another one of these things here to help give it some variety. I think that looks good. Try to give it a lot more different form. Okay. So there's that. So let's go back to this one here. Here's another variation. And these are combining these sections with the rocks. So let's, let's adjust this. So here, make sure it's on add. I'm going to bring this up again. I think somewhere around. 245, 250, somewhere there. Something like that. Background's fine. I'm, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to add another one of these just to give it a little bit of a variation here. Can't really see it much, but it's getting closer. Now, if I go here. All right, so color. So, color is uh, the biggest part of it, which is really cool. So, if you go here, this is your basic color. You can do single, which is fine. You get two colors. You can give it some different variations. Or you can actually go in and do color gradient. So one thing I've done to make it simpler is basically download the um, use that they used on, uh, from... What I did here was I went to Jenga and looked at what their presets were. And I was able to download that. So. I'm going to basically go ahead and import this, and this would be Desert 1, and this is a nice variety of colors. So let's say here, alright, so I'll make sure it's color gradient, that's good. I'm going to make this, I guess, RGB, and one thing I'm going to make sure I do is just select this now, see that gives you what you're looking at. Let's go ahead and go here. And I'm going to add some, again, more detail here. Just to give it some different punch here. Alright, so I think on the color, oh, let me go back here, sorry, color eyes. So here I'm going to actually add in 
another one of these. Bring just bring this down. I'm bring this down too. Can give it a little bit more darkness. I'm gonna make this a drain lock. Hue. I'm gonna bring this up. This is smidgen. Something like that. I'm gonna keep this the same. Value chaos. I think I'll bring this up. It's like 45. Like that. The seed here. I'm gonna Give it some variations. Something like that. Skill. Let's bring it up to like the highest it goes. And here I'm going to also add in, double click it, bring it up. So give it a nice darker color there. Alright, so now let's go to color adjust and we'll adjust this here. So let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm going to bring the hue up a little bit, or down a little bit, just to give it some warmth to it. And then saturation, I'm going to go upward, so like 24 maybe. We'll see what I'm coming at here, but just bear with me here. Bring this up, nine, and we'll bring this up, something like. That. And now shadows. I think um, do something like something like that. This is fine. The height map color. I'm gonna bring this in more of a greenish, a little darker. There we go. Okay. It's trying to come together. All right, so one thing to do is you can use your left mouse button to rotate around. Seems like the creators is not as high as I'd like them. Let's go back to now creators. I think um, I need to adjust this a little bit. So let's go back in there and we're gonna kind of finalize this. We need a little bit higher Let's see here the inner shape I think I'll bring this up a little bit something like that alright so let's go back here 27 with that 13 it's fine inner shape terrace make that zero 133 inner shape fine key central peak height so this is smidgen. So peak width. We'll bring this up. Something like that. Outer shape is 24. Bring this up a little bit more. Super chaos. 17 is good. 25. I think overall this is looking good. 90. All right. So that's good. All right, I think that's looking good. So now if you go back here and your render, I'm definitely going to add in water. So let's go back to your main. And one, a few things I'm going to change here. But keep that. Keep the colors looking nice now. Check a board color. Nah, nothing there. That's good. I think I'm going to bring the lighting a little bit over. Something like I think I go with that. Bring this elevation up a little bit more. Again, you can fine tune all this stuff. I think the 850 is good for that. Three, two, yeah, I think that all looks good. Um, I'm gonna select this too. I'm adding in water. On the water section, I'm going to bring this down to 150 millimeters. That's fine. One, it's fine. I'm going to add a bit of uh, variations here. I'm going to add a little bit of fog. And here again, I'm going to bring this down. Intensity is quite a bit too high. Like 1.5. I 
again this is really cool a lot of things you can do with this again wait till it actually gets to the point where it comes out with the real version that we can start using because hopefully that'll be much easier to export the stuff out as well it's a good practice for sure Let's see here color clouds I'm gonna bring these up 250 bring them up yeah that's good right there fog radius I think that's fine this all looks good so some things I'm going to have to adjust is this whole base I've got to get this where it needs to be it's too low right now anyway okay a few more things that I'm going to adjust here I'm going to actually bring this mask from the creators over to the actual um, height map over here that will help give it a punch actually take this one here height map there we go that should give it some variations and I'm also going to take this mask from there to there it's fine take the rocks goes to the background thinking so I probably want to adjust this here this seems to be off so let me go back in here blend map that would be your first blend type map Let's see here we got add I think this first one is off Right, so let's adjust this. Right now it's too low. Let me go back here and see what we're looking at. Double click it. And then you can go back in it so you can see what you're doing. Let's go ahead and click back on this one. And made some mistakes here. So we're going to make this add, and we're going to take this down to zero. down to zero right and then we're going to change this background to zero foreground we'll put it zero let's just this through zero but in here is basically zero I think I made a mistake here so let's just let's just delete this I think that will be better so now let's go back here gives you more of those deep pockets to here. See what that looks like. Okay, still a little too too high. I need to bring everything down a little bit. Start off with the first blend height map, the base. Let's see what this shows here. Alright, let's go back to the base here bring this down just a little bit okay I'm going back to the faulting section just to kind of update some of the stuff so I'm going to bring this and adjust a little bit more so let's see what we got here we got two I think we can bring this down just a little bit more like that 100% 37% I think let's make that 37 30, 25 okay we're gonna bring this up a little bit more let's do like 71 or so just a little bit more adjustment there oh, 72 is good rotation with a little bit more let's just do let's see six cool and then let's see here, 100%, it's good, 150, 62, okay, we're good there. I think, happy with that. 
think the craters is something I need to adjust. Double click it. All right, so you can see the craters here. I'm not getting kind of what I wanted. I want to be able to see those. So let's, let's go and adjust this. All right, so we're in craters. We're going to go first to go to four. And the seed, I'll make that, something like that. Yeah. And we're going to adjust this a little bit more. Bring this up just a smidgen. About 41, something like that. 386, something like that. It's good enough radius distribution. 25, 55. I think that all looks good. I think this is the offset we need. We need to bring this down to like negative 55. I think here. Central peak height is brings down this a smidgen. Something like that. Here's good, 18, 28, that's all good stuff. Shape chaos is good. I think we're good here. Let me just double click now here. Go back to the main. Water's still too high, as you can see. Let's bring this down. I think we'll go back to the water height. Water level, right here. So let's bring this down. I'm still not seeing the craters in here for some reason. Maybe we'll have to adjust a little bit more. I definitely want to add in a little bit less height on these things and have the creators a little bit more prominent. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to this blend shape. I think I need to add or change a little bit of variations here. It's not it's not coming out with the creators as I don't like them. So I'm going to adjust this blend height. So let's go in here and let's change this. So let's go and bring, I think we'll bring this up, the foreground. That's the, that's the actual Fault. Let's bring this up, something like that. See, this is what we're doing here. The fault is the foreground, right? So the background is also not showing up for some reason. Now, if I go in here again, just look at the background. I think we want to uh, add a little bit more of the back, that uh, variation. So one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and select about here. Bring this down and see what that creates. Now let's go back here. Let's go back to render. Okay, that's giving it a little bit more. I think one of the things I want to do here, I need to bring some other things down, like these are too high. I think the faulting is too high. So faulting, I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. Something like that. Now a second height map is important too. Because what it's doing is it's taking this fault and craters and adding it to the rock. So let's go ahead and do this. And then here I think what I want to do is, I think that's good, 40%, 245. I think I'll bring this over a little bit. I think I'm going to bring this down to, let's see what this does. Let's go back to this one. This one I can bring down a little bit too. Kind of not liking the way these creators are. I need to bring this over a little bit. 
think I'm just going to go here first and see what this looks like. So let's bring this around and disconnect this and see what we got. This is not high enough. For some reason the blend in my app is not doing what I expected to do. So let's adjust it. Okay, let's try this now. Let's pull this. This one will go. Nothing. This one is what we need right here. Bring this there. Okay, we can adjust a few things in here. Like the water level. Bring this down if you want. I kind of like the texture. Now, this is at low risk, so if I bring this up to like 0.25, that'll look much better. Some of the things I um, would also recommend is not to do this until later. Um, you can crash your system. Mine can actually handle these both at 4096, and I can send it out. Um, hopefully, in the near future, when they have decimation worked out, it'll be much easier to send this stuff out. But right now, it's very difficult. I could bring this into like 3D Coat and export it out, which is fine. I'll show that in another video down the road. But for now, this is kind of what we're looking at. All right, to kind of finish this off, I'm going to add some variations here. I think I'm um, not really happy with the way this is um, coming out here. I kind of want to adjust this, the seed here. I'm going to add in this, basically manipulate this a little bit more, get some variations. And I don't want to exactly copy what I had before, but I think um, if I just kind of change this a little bit, see what that looks like. You can just adjust here. I think that last one was good. Something like that. And then I could actually add in a few more of these. I think that number eight is looking good. I think that would be good. I think now once I go back to again, you can just play with this to your heart's content. It's really cool. I bring this up a little bit more, fill in those holes, something like that. And maybe I would add a little bit of variation here. No waves really. I don't think that's a good idea. This is like stuff sitting there. You know, bring this down just a little smidgen. I don't want it into this section here. Now, with the faulting, I can always adjust the seat a little bit too. That way, this would be a little bit higher, which would be good. I kind of don't like this ridge, it's kind of too much. and cause a little bit of problems there. I think on that, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I think. Um, I'll bring this amplitude down. I'll give it some variation. Let me just bring this down. The amplitude here is too high. All right, just kind of give it some variation. I think that looks good. Kind of don't like these. I think I'm gonna bring this down a little bit more. So let me just do this. Bring this down. Go here. Double click it. Go back to the faulting. And we can do something like this. See how it kind of goes down. I'll bring this down too. I think it's a little too high right there. I might bring this a bit higher with five. Bring this down. Trying to get this whole thing down a little bit, it's too high. I think um, bring this whole thing down a little bit. Yeah, 
yeah, I think that looks better. Something like that. Let's see here, bring it down. Yeah, that looks way better. I think that was the biggest thing right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get off of that. All right, so this is, like I said, very simple to use. You have a lot of control. Um, let's go ahead and bring this closer so you can see what we're, what we're doing here. Remove it with the uh, shift key. As you can see, it gives um, a lot of cool variations here. Alright, some things that I also did here to make it have a little bit more punch is I added in some other variations here. So, one of the things I did was bring down some of the coloration. So, one thing I could do here is double click, bring this down, bring this down. I thought it would look a lot better with a little bit more variation. I think we'll go with something like, like that. And one thing I noticed was we can do something like this. I think the rocks are a little bit too high. I'm going to go back into the rock and we kind of just bring this down a little bit. I just think it was a little bit too much. Something like that. That looks better. And what I just also did not like when you look at this detail here, it just seems a little bit too rigid. So inside the crater itself, I kind of brought these down a little bit. It's not so it's not so harsh. And that's what you're going for, it's fine, but you can brought that down just a little bit. And these different settings here. The chaos is another thing, a little bit less chaos. I think that overall gives it a lot better look. Anyway, um, one thing I, I definitely want to do now is go back to this. And I need to adjust the water a little bit because it's way too high now. Just bring this down. I don't want it floating on the top of the rest of that space. I think that looks good. I think um, something you can also do is add a little bit more um, reflection on the water. And I think overall it's, it's really coming together here. I think if we could also adjust this a little bit more. Let's go ahead and just adjust a little bit. See what we got. Make it that a little bit lighter. Bring this in a little bit darker. I think that looks a lot better. Just gonna adjust this a little bit more. All right. So I think if we now look at this, I think that looks like a lot better. I hope this helps everyone learn how to use this program. It's a lot of fun. And I uh, can't wait for the, uh, uh, the new uh, version when it comes out. All right, this is looking really cool. I like what, how it came out. Thanks for joining me. Please subscribe. It helps me continue to create these videos. Thank you.